Hey guys, and welcome back to more live fire grilling with Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today is unfortunately pretty rainy, but that doesn't stop us from grilling because we still need to eat meat. So grab a rain jacket and come grill with us. Okay, tonight we're going to do some Misty Mountain Farm New York Strip Steaks. We're getting ready to uh, put some seasoning on them here. We have fresh coarse ground pepper, fresh coarse ground salt, uh, garlic, onion, basil, and some uh, crushed red peppers. Uh, this steak is awesome looking. It's really marbled real well. You can see the marbling in it. That's gonna that's gonna make an excellent steak. It's if it was all red, it wouldn't be. But all that marbling in there, it should be a excellent steak. So let me uh, I'm gonna mix this stuff all up and and we'll uh, get it seasoned. It's to room temperature, pretty close to room temperature. And. Uh, Fire's building out there. We'll let this set a little bit till the coals are ready. And we'll just get these worked in a little bit. I want to get both sides. Just let these sit. Suck up them juices for a little bit, and then we'll take them out and put them on the grill. We're not gonna. Last time I uh, reverse seared them, but we want these steaks to be because since they're warm room temperature, we want them to be medium rare. We like our our meat pretty red inside, so we're gonna get that fire hot and we're gonna put them on there and we'll turn them pretty quick and they'll be done done pretty fast. I think we have some peppers. Are we going to have peppers too? We'll get them on there and get them going first. And then we'll do our steaks. Misty Mountain Farm steaks on a misty mountain day is what it is out there. Raining a little bit. Okay, we got some <clears throat> peppers, some stuffed uh, Poblano's peppers in here and I'm going to bring some more coal over get that fired up because I want it hot when I put those steaks on this is going to be a this is going to be a quick burn rare steak medium rare steak there we go we're melting cheese now pretty good it'd be a good idea on something like this to have a a, a cover to put over it so we could trap some heat Bring it back on that cheese so we don't overdo the peppers. I'm just gonna pull that out of the way. Bring this up. <clears throat> Get some coals in here. Put one of those in your pocket. Okay. 
Now that grill is pretty hot, so I'm gonna clean it and uh, get a little oil on it so that it'll, yeah, it's hot. So the meat don't stick down so bad and look, it cleans them up really nice. Turn her back down so that it gets hot. Already smelling good. Tap, 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 tap. Get that hot so it starts making juice. What I'm doing now is I'm testing the firmness of the steak, and I just do that by touching this in my hand here. It's hard up there. Rock pretty raw right there get you tighten your fist up you can you can get a feeling of what the meat feels like so that's what I like to test and if it bounces back I think we're real close to to being good here yeah I think we better we better stop there if we want to meet him rare So we just need a plate to take them in the house and eat them. I hope they're ready on the inside. I hope they're really red. Okay, let me do a cleaning here. Well, it's hot. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.